Actor Omar Dorsey has starred in several award-winning films and TV shows in his expansive career. Dorsey has no short list of roles he has taken on. They include Selma and the CBS show NCIS. Currently, he's starring in the Oprah Winfrey Network's new series, Queen Sugar, tells the story of three estranged siblings in Louisiana. Here's a preview of the show. Yeah. How you guys doing? I'm going to be mad when you find out he missed you coming by. Well, I got a, a ball and some gear in the car for him. I just want to take care of the little man, you know? I appreciate that. Yeah. You want some coffee? We out. Sweet tea in the refrigerator, dog. Mm-mm, we out of that, too. Okay. I'm good, man. Thanks. Oh, somebody doesn't look welcome there. Omar Dorsey is with us here in studio. Omar, thanks for joining us. You took the red eye in last night I just did. to be here with us. I did. After it's... performing two shows on stage. Yes, I did. But that's all right. I'm glad to be here in New York, one of my favorite cities in the world. I know. There's a grit here, right? <laughs> it is. An energy, I love it. An energy. I love it, yes. Tell us about this new show. It's a beautiful show about uh, a crazy, insane, beautiful family. Uh, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, the beauty and the messiness of what family really is. Mm. Uh, it takes place in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, in, in the surrounding areas of Louisiana. About three siblings, uh, played by Kofi Sirabo, uh, Retina Wesley, and Don Lane Gardner. And I play uh, the, the matriarch of the family's younger boyfriend, who's like the sounding boy for the family, the backbone of the family, and just the, uh, the, the person who everybody comes to. No one really likes the younger boyfriend character in any kind of show. That's right. like that guy walked in and, and the younger boyfriend was stepping in it right away and just that yeah. short clip. So but I'm the younger boyfriend. That's that. Uh, so but the thing about it is it's a different uh, May, December uh, romance that you would see. It's not like this guy who, who this is a guy who really takes care of his woman. Mm. And the, so you really don't see that a lot on television. It's like I have an older uh, girlfriend. But I'm the person who's like, look, I'll take care of everything. Don't worry about anything. And I have your back because she has my back. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. How did uh, this collaboration come about? This is the second time you've worked with Oprah Winfrey, right? It is. Second time I worked with Oprah Winfrey and Ava DuVernay. I was doing a film in um, the Bahamas. They called me and asked me to uh, read the script and tell me what I thought about it. I told them I loved it. I told them I loved the character. I told them I would come in and audition for it. They were like, Audition? No, we want to give you the role. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a star. You're going to just give me? She's like, yeah, we want you to play it. Ava told me she wrote the role for me. Wow. And so I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm there 110%. Yeah. How do you say no to Ava and Oprah, though? You can't right? say no can't to them. No, like, I'm there. You know, this show, though, is um, groundbreaking in the sense that it was directed solely by women. It's a beautiful thing. I've been in uh, television uh, business for 15 years. I've probably been directed by three or four women. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, since is there a I've been difference doing... between men and women? There is. There's a sensitivity that mm -hmm. women, uh, you know, they'll bring out a little something more inside of me. I'm a male. You know, I'm trying to think about things analytically and they're like, you know, go inside of yourself, mm -hmm. go inside of yourself, find the beauty, or find, you know, whatever it is inside of you. And it's like, okay, okay, I can find that now. So uh, it, it, this is, like, it's the second time I work with Ava. So I've been directed by her before, but these other women, you're talking about Tina Mabry, you're talking about Nima Barnett and, uh, the, and a host of others who just like, they bring something to the table that I won't even be thinking about myself. You know, in your career, it's such a big career. You've toggled between TV and film right. and also stage. How do you mentally go between one and the other, and how are they different? Man, you know what? It's crazy because we're talking about uh, stage and talking about I just came back from um, Los Angeles doing a play at the Geffen called Barbecue, a Robert O'Hare play, that, which originated here last year. And I'm just doing it, and, I'm, and, and sometimes I get out of myself, and I'm like, man, I'm really acting real big right now. But it's, it's fun. When, you, when you're talking about doing things on stage, you're talking about a living and breathing organism that changes every night depending on you know, how your castmates might say something to you, a look they might give to you. You have to respond and react accordingly. You know, on television, what we're doing is we're building a, a character. So we have, um, I play Hollywood. So it's like we're going to see Hollywood develop in the next five, maybe 10 years, hopefully, you know, just to see how that character grows. And when you're talking about film, you're talking about a snapshot. It's like it's a two-month uh, frame, two or three-month frame when you're filming, and you see 
whatever happens that two or three months and it's on celluloid for the rest of his life. So it's, uh, it's just different. It's the same craft, but it's different ways of uh, pushing it out. And real quickly, just back to the show, you tackle some societal issues. Definitely. Real issues. Real issues, yes. We talk about, um, you know, uh, the prison uh, industrial complex. We talk Ralph Angel, played by Kofi Cerebro. Uh, he's a single father who's fresh out of prison. And this is the way that he has to go throughout life. Like, you know, he can't get a job without, you know, being a felon. So he has to go through all of these different changes. We talk about, uh, you know, a lot of the Black Lives Matter stuff by uh, Rutina Wesley, uh, who plays Nova. She's a, a, a journalist and she uh, is a community activist and she's fighting for the rights of the people. So, and we're talking about infidelity when you're talking about Don Lane Gardner's uh, uh, character. She plays Charlie. So we're, we're we're tackling all these different things. It's like a and real family. It's a real it's family. A real it's, family. It's, it's real, and it's real. not hyper reality. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a real it's real stuff that goes mm -hmm. on in all of our families. Good to see. Good yes. to see it's coming on coming on television. Yes. Omar Dorsey, thanks so much. Next Thank time, you. will you sing for us? Okay, I will. My voice is a little bit bad. I, I right wasn't going to put you on the spot. Yeah, my I voice figured is. You would, I would, but trained not, yeah. singer, right? Yeah, yeah opera, opera, opera. opera. Yeah, Carnegie right. Hall, actually. All right, yep. producers, let's make this note. We got to get him back. All right, and don't forget to watch Omar in the new series, Queen Sugar. It airs on the Oprah Winfrey Network, OWN, Wednesdays at 10, 9 Central.